Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now, as you already know that Visual Force consists of different different tags. These are the inbuilt tags which has already been provided to you by the force.com inside of the Visual Force framework. Now, these tags can be categorized into different categories. Okay, this there are seven important categories that we have. We have is an input tag, output tag, select tags, form tags, page tags, action tags, style tags. So these are the seven most important categories of different tags that are available. So what are these input tags? So the input tags are basically used to get input from the user. So let's say I wanted to ask the user for his name. So what you need is you need a text box where the user can enter his name. Let's say I wanted to ask hey if the uh, if the user is a us citizen or not so it might be a checkbox so here it can be a yes or no so i need a checkbox where the user will answer that question similarly let's say i want the user to upload a cover letter so we need a little bit of a large text area field so these were called as the input tags so anything which has to do with getting the input from the user are categorized into input tags now output tags are if you want to display something on the screen that's what the output tags are for let's say you wanted to display a link or you wanted to display a label so those are the different kinds of output tags in order to display something on the screen then you have is the style tags style tags are related to the styling of your visual force page so let's say you wanted to make the boundary of a width you wanted to add some colors so those that's when you will use the style tags then you have is the action tags let's say you wanted to make sure when the user clicks on this button these are the th things i want to do so that's what is the action tags are for in that action tags you will specify which method to invoke whenever that button is clicked so those are called as the action tags then you have is the page tags which are related to the page if you want to just create multiple sections in the page you wanted to create multiple items etc so those are different kind of page tags form tags is if you want to submit a form etc so those are the form tags we're going to go ahead and discuss about these tags in details but this is just the category okay these are not the tags these are the main categories of the tags so let's go ahead and start with our first category which is page tags now what are the different tags which are available under this page tag category we have apex page page message page block page block table page block buttons and page block section items so these are the some of the important page tags that are available so let's start with the first tag which is the apex page so what is this apex page so any time you are creating a visual force page this is the basic tag that is you need to have okay so the basic tag that is used to create a visual force page so this is the topmost tag that you have to have in order to create a visual force page so just like if you were creating an html page you were specifying the html tag at the beginning right so you had to have the html tag and then you have inside of the HTML, you had a head tag and the body tag, right? So similarly, in Visual Force also, the first important tag that we need to have is the Apex page tag. So this is the basic tag that creates a Visual Force page. All the different tags should be enclosed inside of this page tag. And this particular Apex page tag can only be used once inside of a page and the other visual force tags have to be enclosed in this particular tag so this is the most important tag this is the force tag the basic tag which creates a visual force page and uh, this can only be used once in a page and all the different visual force tags have to be enclosed inside of this particular tag so this is one of the important page tag that we have so that is called the apex page so let's go ahead and do a simple example to illustrate your apex page tag so anytime if you go back and if you go to your developer edition or if you go to your developers account and let's say i wanted to go ahead and create my 
first example. So here I can say epics. And then if you want to create a new page, all you have to do is epics page example. Since we do not have this page, it gave us the link. Let me increase the size. So automatically, this is by default, the code gets added. It says, so you can see here, the first tag that you see is the Apex page, and there is the opening tag, and this is the ending tag. Inside of this, you have a header, which says congratulations, and this is your new page. So it says here, new page here, so exactly. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and write something here, so instead of just saying congratulations, let's say I wanted to say congratulations, Tipika, or we can say congratulations, my tutorial rack. That is my website name here. So my tutorial rack. So if you go ahead and hit the save button, you will see this thing will get updated and it will say congratulations, my tutorial rack. This is your new page. Whatever the name of the page is, it will display it here. I meant to have was epics page example. I think it just said epics age example. So as you can see, this is the first tag that we need in order to create a visual force page.